is Yesenia and I do welcome you to definitely subscribe to my channel and turn that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos and tutorials and recipes but in today's video I just wanted to go over basically my experience with the rhinoplasty and the chin lipo and I'll definitely answer any questions you might have but to get started, I did get my surgery at Evo Clinic in Tijuana, Mexico. And um, definitely it was a great experience overall. I think um, definitely you feel welcome when you arrive. And everything is explained to you up front, even prior to going to your consultation, you are sent via email the pre-op instructions and you know basically was going to follow um, after the surgery as well as before but um, dr salas is great when you arrive you feel welcome um, once you meet with him but basically what happens first is that you go to your pre-op consultation um, where you'll pay your fees and then also have your exams done so I had my labs done there one day prior just because I am out of state so they worked with me on that and then also they take your photographs on that prior visit to your surgery so that worked out just fine and then a plus is that at Evo Clinic you know it is within that same grand hotel so it works out perfectly but uh, basically you attend that evaluation before you meet with the doctor that one day before um, sign that paperwork and everything else and then everything will get explained to you on that same day um, that's a great moment to explain exactly what you need done you know draw on your face if you need to to make sure that the communication is there but basically what the price includes with the surgery is the surgeon fee um, the anesthesiologist fee the surgical supplies hospitalization and patient care fee there we go and the pre-op medical test three months post-op consultation so i haven't gotten to that yet my surgery was about seven weeks ago and the medication and garment and that's the face garment um, that you'll get if you get that chin lipo that you must wear for the first two weeks and then well that's like 24 hours right but then Two weeks after that, you just wear it at nighttime. That was the case for me. Always consult with your doctor, but that is what was instructed for me. Um, and the cost, if we want to dive right into that, the cost of the rhinoplasty was thirty-two fifty, so three thousand two hundred and fifty, and then the chin lipo was one thousand seven hundred. Um, so that was a side. Um, I did not have to stay overnight. Basically, once the procedure was done, they just keep an eye on you. Um, they keep you there and make sure you're okay, you're fine after that. But I was ready to go um, right after my surgery, surgery, I believe. I was dispatched like two hours after. Um, and I walked right across the way to my hotel room right afterwards because like i mentioned the grand hotel and evil clinic is within walking distance um and if you do end up going with evil clinic um it's the 16th and 17th floor um that you'll be going to to be seen uh, which is so convenient um, prior to and after the surgery as well but just a few things that i would have wanted to know before getting the surgery not that that would have changed anything, but rhinoplasty wise, I wished I would have known that you have to sit up right. So 
like semi-angled in a sleeping position will really at all times just keep elevated almost just sitting up but you know not quite like with the laying on several pillows helps um let's see and then a few other things this definitely you have to if you do absolutely have to sneeze you have to sneeze through your mouth not through the nose like at all like i accidentally sneezed through my nose about six weeks in and i called the doctor right away and they said that it's okay if you know as long as i didn't bleed through my nose that i should be okay so that was you know it's pretty scary for me because that basically labels the surgery that's what i was told um and then some other things i'm trying to think of so what worked for me was like that saline spray since i couldn't blow my nose so um, I used that that saline spray sprayed it up and then just cleaned with the q-tips. So after my own research um, That's what helped for me And then let's see It wasn't so much um, of a pain It wasn't like painful the rhinoplasty was not it's just very Like uncomfortable basically the a light bulb the whole procedure that i got done was just uh, very uncomfortable but basically i was able to like lean off of pain medication about two to three weeks in which was good um just based off of my research you know is what helped me recover um aloe vera actually helped with the light bulb just with the swelling of the light bulb that was based on my own research so it's basically, um, I didn't do my research sort of beforehand. I just went right into it and then researched after what could help me. Not that it would have changed anything, but I'm not sure why I'm like that, but that's the way I am. And then, let's see, what any questions you might have, definitely let me know. But just those are the few things that, um, were part of my experience and my healing process. So again, about seven weeks in post-op, so I'm still very much swollen. Um, and then nose-wise, rhinoplasty-wise, you get that full figure a year after, so still swollen, especially up here. So I'm getting those lymphatic massages still. Um, the doctor re recommended for me to get six in total, but we'll see. We'll see if more are needed. And these are lymphatic massages that I'm receiving for the liposuction. So, so yeah. Um, let's see, anything, you know, there's a lot more to this, but if you have any questions, anything that I might've missed, definitely let me know um, in those comments. But again, I went with Evo Clinic for this surgery uh, with Dr. Salas. Dr. Salas and his team are great. They're friendly. They make you feel welcome there. And I definitely would go back or anything else to them just because of that experience. And I am happy with my results. Um, the reason why, by the way, why I got the rhinoplasty is because I, like as a little girl, I like fell off the horn of, the, of a bike and I hit my nose right on the concrete so i had this bump and i just hated it i just hated it growing up and so i was like that's it like i'm gonna get this done and of course my siblings also went to evo um to get their work done so i was like why not let's go ahead and just get this over with and i was hesitant because of the photos that i would see from other you know other people where they would have like the bruising here but actually that's what least hurt to me it didn't hurt it was just like more of the aftercare and um, the bandages that you have on like of course you can't get those wet um and then the stitching that remove after so that's a whole another subject but um if i could do it again i would but Definitely, um, I do. I will be posting here the full photos 
and, and the process behind that. But I hope you find this helpful. And um, I will be posting another video on also my gastric sleeve process and how that went. Because I know there's like a lot of questions that come up. Uh, so I think it'd be helpful to post also that journey um, as well. As overall, I did lose 59 pounds from that. But I hope you like this video. If so, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye, guys. Here we are arriving in Tijuana, Mexico, and of course those labs were done one day prior to the surgery, but here I am once now hooked up with the IV and all dressed, ready for my surgery at 6 in the morning. And of course they ask that you have not eaten or drank anything prior to the surgery. So here I am, I'm ready to go, not nervous at all, and here I am once they did the surgery on me. I was very uncomfortable at first and I could not breathe through my nose. I had to breathe through my mouth and I'm starting my recovery process here at this point and did not want to eat any of that jello. I was only able to sip. Of course, I did have like mucus which had me choking a little bit, but here I am now at the hotel resting and of course that next day you get taken in to have the um, plugs from your nose removed and get checked out then but that's a little bit of the process and and it was rough but i wish you best of luck if you end up going with this surgery as it all is worth it with the results